in a way you have never experienced may you carry this grace for honor this week in the name of jesus christ even as you have supported these great ones in their journey to greatness i pray that god will raise men to stand by you to stand with you to stand for you in the name of jesus and that everything that represents spiritual laxity let it fall from off you tonight permanently in the name of jesus by faith we silence every voice that has lied to you that you cannot become what god destined we call that voice a liar and we silence that voice forever in the name of jesus christ like it was said to isaiah i speak to someone here who has been inspired by this practical arise and shine for your light is come in the name of jesus christ and hear me everything that has brought tears to your eyes i stand by the power of the prophetic this week we open a season of laughter for you we open a season of laughter by the power of prophecy i open a season of laughter for you in the name of jesus christ for someone you are saying how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man you don't need to know how it will happen the bible says just as you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so also you do not know the way of the lord by an act that can only be called a miracle may your testimony manifest this week in the name of jesus christ hear me everything that represents shame and reproach by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus every shame is turned to honor Amen. and let me pray for everyone here who is being plagued by the devil the bible declares how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good healing all day that were oppressed of the devil the bible says for god was with him i decree and declare over your body over your life over your destiny satan take your hands off their destinies now take your hands off their health now take your hands off their finances now take your hands off their career now take your hands over the prophecy upon their lives now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus john chapter 1 and verse 5 and the light it says the light shineth in darkness even if a room has been dark for two weeks if you switch on light it will not take three days for the light to come up the room that has been dark for one year one week one day one hour will respond the same way when the light is on i don't know how long darkness has prevailed in your life but in the name of jesus let there be light over your destiny let there be light over every area of darkness let there be light over your finances let there be light over your spiritual work let there be light over your career let there be light over ministry let there be light over business in the name of jesus christ it says for your shame you shall receive double that where you have deserted so that no man would pass through you it says i will call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations therefore i declare whoever has been ignored and neglected i place an anointing upon your life in the name of jesus christ i place an anointing that will compel those who need you to find you and to honor you in the name of jesus christ listen these are not mere words believe me these words are creating something out of your life listen to me one man forgot to talk about joseph before pharaoh and he added two extra years to his life that one man's forgetfulness 
will extend the time of pain of another man whoever has forgotten you and has made prophecy to look delayed in the name of Jesus this night by the power that raised Christ from the dead we open the book of remembrance now 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 hallelujah Paul said speaking to the church in Thessalonica he said I desire to come to you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us there are many things that should come to God's people but have been hindered by the power of darkness any force standing your way any force that has vowed that God's prophetic word will not come to pass in the name of Jesus may fire from heaven fall upon them may fire from heaven fall upon them may fire from heaven fall upon them In the name of Jesus and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass as ye go ye shall not go empty whatever has made your hand empty by this oil of favor I mantle your life for increase I mantle your life for supplies I mantle your life by this oil for increase in the name of Jesus Christ and for everything that should not have left your life but by whatever means it left your life like the bones scattered in the valley of Ezekiel I command those bones wherever they are those opportunities scattered those destiny helpers scattered I command a formation right now I command a financial formation a destiny formation a spiritual formation of those bones in the name of Jesus We're wrapping up I feel stirred in my heart to just speak over people's finances can I tell you the truth this demon of lack and poverty don't you let anyone preach you into embracing a life of financial struggles it is not the will of God it does not bring dignity to you it does not bring honor to God therefore I pray that everything sitting on your financial glory by the power of prophecy he said I'm by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet where they preserve by the privilege of the election of grace anyone who is in any financial pit hear the word of the Lord come out of that pit now 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 in Job chapter 42 and verse 10 the Bible says and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends and the Lord gave Job how many twice as much as he had before how did it happen verse 11 there came to him his brethren so it happens with men and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before if you ever experience favor God brought men and those men are still alive the Bible says he brought them before hear me and he did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him read the last verse if you believe and every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold whoever is holding what God has authorized to enter your hand in the name of Jesus the son of the living God this week before Sunday next week may it enter your hand in the name of Jesus 
them please this week i say it again before sunday seven days by the power of the prophetic may it enter your hand in a strange way please help that woman the prophet said by this time tomorrow and there was a foolish man who said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen and he said you will see it and not eat it in case you doubted what i said let me say it again open up your heart that in the next seven days from today by the spirit of prophecy i declare that everything that must enter your hand in the name of jesus the son of the living god and by the spirit of the lord that confirms everything he says in the name of jesus breakthroughs unlimited for you breakthroughs unlimited for you in the mighty name of jesus christ family here whose glory has refused to be revealed if there is any force please help them in the name of jesus that will not allow the glory of any family to be revealed in the name of jesus fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars fire from heaven may it fall upon those altars he said thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the lord the mouth of the lord himself shall bring everyone here called Ichabod whose yesterday seems better than your today i stand by the voice of prophecy and i declare restore 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 in the name of jesus christ he said he's put a new song in my mouth a song of praise to our God many will see and fear and put their trust in him for everyone who has said where is your God it's not you that will answer them may God himself answer them through the results that come in your life hallelujah every door you have tried to open and has refused to open a door is a symbol for access the authorized channel midwifing dimensions midwifing realms midwifing chapters are doors and every door that has refused to open to let you enter the next season of your life by the power of the holy spirit we not only open the door we break that door two more prayers if there is anyone here i just sense in my spirit that there are people who have been going through attacks seasons of attacks people in family attacks in dreams attacks in health attacks over your finances attacks in your place of work the spirit that is behind that attack we cause that spirit by the god of heaven Please help that lady. We cost that spirit now. 
we curse that spirit now we curse that spirit in the name of Jesus let me pray for you whatever God told you should have happened in your life by now based on the prophetic word he gave you and up till now there is no physical manifestation I stand as a prophetic midwife I push that testimony to your life now in the name of Jesus Christ I push that prophecy to your life I push that prophecy to your destiny I push that prophecy to your life in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you in the name of Jesus between now and the next two weeks those outside but it applies to everybody whatever God must do to make you laugh I declare may it happen speedily speedily if it's a job may it happen speedily if it's your visa may it happen speedily if it's your house may it happen speedily The Bible says despise not prophesying despise not prophesying still keep them I'm speaking to them I'm speaking to them why God is putting it in my heart to speak to them I'm speaking to those outside sometimes God moves like this to comfort us to help us see and know that distance is no barrier media are you helping me in the name that is above all names The oil of favor the oil of favor that can come upon a man's head that can come upon a man's hand that can come upon his feet and rewrite his story I stretch my hands first from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe in the name of Jesus listen I tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to God I know what favor is I know how it works I have seen what the favor of God can do this ministry is evidence that God's favor can rest upon a man it is such as I have in the name of Jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling moving from pillar to post and things are not working in ministry in finances I pray for you receive the oil of favor 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 everyone shout this after me say father every curse every enchantment every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny let it be destroyed now open your mouth in one minute and pray every enchantment every curse orchestrated against my life against my advancement against my health against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken may not take testimonies tonight but lay your hands I want to pray for you 
the stage is always yours every week you can register for your testimonies those online everyone please lay your hands you're standing in for someone in the next one minute i want to pray father in the name of jesus the son of the living god the one who died and resurrected in power and glory thank you for the power to heal the power to bring life even to the sick you gave us this noble instruction to heal the sick while we preach the kingdom and lord in honor and obedience to that call i stretch my hands right now over your people spread across this auditorium and its environs outside the many who are following online and the many who will hear this I'm praying in the name of Jesus that every spirit that is responsible for infirmity, every spirit responsible for sickness, diseases of any and all kinds, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I cause the operation of those spirits from your body this moment. In the name of Jesus. Right now I stretch my hands, be healed. Shout a believing amen headaches be healed right now eye conditions be healed right now heart conditions be healed right now blood conditions be healed right now bone conditions be healed right now organ failures let there be a brand new a reproduction of new organs in the name of jesus respiratory problems be healed now tumors and cancers be cursed now fibroids we curse you now gastrointestinal problems be healed now reproductory problems be healed now urinary problems be healed now respiratory problems be healed now digestive problems be healed now neurological problems be healed now in the name of jesus christ back pain be healed lumbar spondylosis be healed joint pains be healed we change genotypes right now from ss to aa from as to aa in the name of jesus christ ear conditions be healed now every prolonged pain in your body be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not anyone appointed to death by sickness those following from hospitals clinics everywhere be healed right now i stretch my hands and i declare let the healing power of jesus from this ground through the airwaves let it flow to you right now i speak to someone you shall not die your health will not deteriorate it is cancer that will die it is hiv that will die it is tuberculosis that will die it is pile that will die in the name of jesus every mental health situation right here in nigeria across europe america canada asia be healed right now autism be healed right now if you are here you came with a wheelchair you came with a crutch or some walking aid for your feet your hands i declare be healed right now for every and any infirmity here at this miracle service we pronounce you healed we pronounce you whole we pronounce you perfected in the name of jesus you will search for that pain and not find it again you will search for that infirmity and not find it again i declare restoration to your health hallelujah in the name of jesus christ now i want you to lift your hands as i speak over you prophecy is the final or the second to the last atmosphere that is created for reception father I decree and declare over your people shame and reproach from this day comes to an end forever 
comes to an end forever. I decree and declare, wherever the helpers of your destiny are, whether they are in Abuja, in Lagos, in the north, the south, east, west, Europe, America, far west, wherever they are, between now and the end of the month, the month is not ended yet, I gravitate them towards your destiny. Every long-standing issue, you have prayed, you have fasted, it has refused to change. I release my faith with you and I declare this is the season of change for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. A new song. For someone God will take away sleep from your helpers like Ahasuerus and make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Everywhere your finance is for this season. Can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing? In the name of Jesus, anyone who is in a financial situation now, I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God, the testimony of God helping men, from your father to your mother to your siblings to you, every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gift that the Lord has put within you, I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting. 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 What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America. Blessed in the UK. All over Europe. All over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds, giving, standing with us. I just felt stirred in my heart to do that. People give. The things that you see us do, it is based on the givings, the faithful givings of God's people. And I just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given, not just here in Nigeria, but across the globe, UK, America, Canada, people have given for our meetings coming, people have given, even in the house, people have sown into my life as a man of God, I stretch my hands. God is not a fraudster, God is not a scammer, he doesn't play games with people. In the name that is above all names, you have sown to this ground, it is good ground, therefore receive a hundredfold harvest. Therefore receive a hundredfold harvest. A harvest of prosperity. A harvest of wisdom. 
a harvest of helpers, a harvest of joy, a harvest of help in the name of Jesus. May you never do anything alone in your life. God will raise people to stand with you, to stand by you, to stand for you in the name of Jesus. Quarter to shame, may God raise helpers for you. Now, let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life, attacking your word study life, attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things, it dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. Your enemies will not see your back. Your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay. No retrogression. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Advance. Progress. In destiny. And I pray for you. The kind of honor and favor you have never seen. This week. May God bring this as a witness to your life. Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him all the praise. Wave your hands to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. In Jesus name. Please rise as we close for tonight. Lord we thank you for grace. Thank you for enablement. Thank you for visitations. Thank you for impartations. Our lives would never be the same. Not after this encounter. I pray in the, in the name of Jesus that as you depart from here, go in the glory. Go with the favor of God. Go with testimonies following you. Go with good news following you. You will return a sign and a wonder to the glory of the name of the Lord.